So I've been asked what's good reading of a MAF sensor is in grams per second at idle speed. My answer was approximately 5.4. But how is it in life? Is the leaf data legible and easy for interpretation? If not, how to approach this issue? I decided to make a video about this subject because having good reference data for any diagnosis is vital. This video will compare data from two known good vehicles using a diagnostic scanner and a multimeter. The diagnostic trouble code corresponding to the MAF sensor range performance is P0101. Now there are many possible causes interfering with the sensor's reading that can trigger the DTC. We can distinguish between mechanical and electrical malfunctions. So mechanical would be intake air system leak or restriction, turbocharger malfunction, mostly turbine vanes and bearings, and EGR system, which is developing a fault. And finally, faulty electrical systems like the powertrain control module, wiring, connectors, and the MAF sensor. So this time we'll look at the MAF sensor and perform a basic check to acquire lookup data. Let's start with preparation for a quick test. So here is the MAF sensor's 5 pins connector. The black wire is the output signal and grey one is the reference voltage sent from PCM. Before we go any further let's connect probes correctly without pinching the wire. Slide the needle between the wire and the orange isolation until you feel the resistance, which means you have reached the electric terminal. To be sure of your connection, hook up another probe to the other side of the terminal and check for continuity. Looking at the resistance on your multimeter, the reading should be close to zero. Next, reconnect the MAF sensor with the probe attached. Now we'll turn the ignition on and check the output and the reference voltage. So the output voltage from the MAF sensor is 0.75. Now we'll switch the probe to the grey wire and the reference voltage should always be around 5 volts. The first vehicle to be tested is Mazda CX-5 2.2 diesel 2018 model year. The probe is connected back to middle wire, which in this model is orange. At the idle speed, the voltage reading is approximately 1.13 to 1.14, and the MAF sensor value grams per second is at, well, it is challenging to tell. Let's say it is at 5 grams per second. We will increase the RPM to 2000, so now the MAF reading is approximately 12.5 grams per second. The EGR position is at 30% and the voltage is at 1.46. Now we'll wait until engine coolant temperature exceeds 70 degrees of centigrade, because that is where the engine's operating temperature starts. All readings will change from now on. As soon as the engine coolant temperature goes above 70 degrees, the EGR opens to approximately 60%, the MAF sensor reading drops to 10.5 grams per second and the voltage goes to 1.36. The wiring color on newer models of Mazda is different. The output signal is orange, the reference wire is brown, and the pin assignment is the same. Now we'll decrease RPM and let the engine stabilize. So EGR is fully closed and the MAF reading has dropped to approximately 5 grams per second. So it looks the same as on the lower temperature of the coolant. The voltage reading is 
between 1.11 and 1.12. The conclusion is that leaf data readings don't indicate precisely and we should look at the multimeter rather than a diagnostic tool. According to the workshop manual, the engine at operating temperature should indicate voltage between 1.085 to 1.235 and mass airflow approximately 5 grams per second. At 2000 RPM, voltage is not given. Still, you have it now. In the other part of the video, I included the same test on an older 2012 Mazda Skyactiv-D engine and a small comparison, so enjoy!